Good morning dear students I am Ms Vandana Pai In today's lecture of the subject global finance we will be going through the negative impact of WTO Okay see in the last lecture we have started um, WTO and we have gone through the positive impact of WTO Okay a brief revision what is WTO Okay and after that we will discuss some of the positive impact and then we will be discussing on today's content that is negative impact of uh, wto okay see what is wto wto means the full form or the expanded expanded form of wto itself is world trade organization okay world trade organization is an intergovernmental organization that is concerned with the regulation of international trade between nations okay see an institute and um, organization okay which is intergovernmental okay which is intergovernmental in nature which is established so that okay the international trade it will be ensured in a proper way okay or the trade which exist between different nations it will go smoothly there will be soundness into such type of international trade okay to ensure this itself to ensure this itself wto is established okay the wto that is world trade organization officially commenced on 1st january 1995 under the marrakesh agreement which was signed by 123 nations on 15th april 1994 okay which replaced the general agreement on tariffs and trade which was started in 1948 so world trade organization is an organization which was established in 1995 okay which replaced the general agreement on tariff and trade which is generally known as gatt okay which was previously started in 1948 okay so what this institute does yes what this organization uh plays role of is okay to regulate the international trade okay the trade which happens between different nations yes it is regulated and if there are any disputes if there are many uh, if there is any uh, misagreement okay or disagreement between these nations yes wto what it does it yes solves such type of uh, dispute okay resolve such type of disputes between different nations okay now in the last lecture we have gone through the positive impact of wto okay let's see what uh, what are the different uh, positive impact of uh, wto okay yes it helps to promote peace within the nation okay means see okay what wto does yes okay if there is any dispute between two countries okay related to international trade yes the those two countries they should approach wto and what wto does yes wto resolves such type of disputes and conflict in a peaceful way okay or a solution is given that way that it will be benefiting both the nations okay so this is one of the positive impact of wto or world trade organization then it is see disputes they are handled constructively as trade expands in volume okay the number of products traded in the countries okay might result into more chances for the disputes okay see uh, wto what it does yes surely wto resolves such type of disputes if they arise between two or more countries okay wto helps resolve this disputes peacefully and constructively means okay how it might benefit so lot of tension related to the dispute may be released through uh, this organization that is wto okay then rules make life easier for all okay see
सम ऑफ द रूल्स रिलेटेड टू ट्रेड रिलेटेड टू इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड दे आर इम्पोज बाय दिस डब्ल्यू टी ओ विच द इंटरनेशनल सॉरी द मेम्बर्स ऑफ डब्ल्यू टी ओ दे आर रिक्वायर्ड टू फॉलो ओके सो दैट देर विल बी नो मिस एग्रीमेंट डिस एग्रीमेंट बिटवीन द इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड बिटवीन द नेशंस ओके आफ्टर दैट फ्री ट्रेड कस्ट कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग येस येस वॉट इज डन इन टू फ्री ट्रेड एक्चुअली द कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग ऑफ होम द कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल्स इट इज कट ओके प्रोटेक्शनिज्म इज क्वाइट एक्सपेंसिव इट रेजेस प्राइसेस एंड डब्ल्यू टी ओ लोवर्स ट्रेड बैरियर्स थ्रू निगोशिएशन एंड अप्लायर्स अप्लाइज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ नॉन डिस्क्रिमिनेशन द रिजल्ट इज रिड्यूस्ड थ्रू कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन ओके एंड रिड्यूस प्राइसेस ऑफ फिनिश गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस ओके अल्टीमेटली अ लोअर कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग इज बेनिफिट सी येस द कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग इज लोवर्ड एज द प्राइसेस ऑफ द फिनिश गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस दे आर ओके कंट्रोल्ड ओके सी इट प्रोवाइड्स मोर चॉइस ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स एंड क्वालिटीज एज ओके कंज्यूमर्स गेट मोर चॉइस ओके एज अ ब्रॉडर रेंज ऑफ क्वालिटीज इट इज प्रोवाइडेड ओके एंड वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू चूज वन फ्रॉम इट ओके बिकॉज वेन एवर इट कम्स टू इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड येस यू आर एक्सपोज थ्रू वाइड रेंज ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स ओके एंड यू कैन सिलेक्ट एनी ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम द वाइड रेंज ओके देन ट्रेड रेजेस इनकम थ्रू डब्ल्यू टी ओ ट्रेड बैरियर्स आर लोवर्ड एंड दिस इंक्रीजेस इम्पोर्ट्स एंड एक्सपोर्ट दस अर्निंग ऑफ द कंट्री थ्रू फॉरिन एक्सचेंज इट इज रेज ओके सो इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड इट डज रेजेस द इनकम ऑफ द कंट्री बिकॉज ओके वेन एवर इट कम्स टू इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड और इम्पोर्ट एंड एक्सपोर्ट ओके द कंपनी द कंट्री इट इट गेट्स रेवेन्यू थ्रू द टैरिफ्स एंड फीस विच आर चार्ज फॉर सच टाइप ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड ओके सो इट इज अ गुड सोर्स ऑफ इनकम एक्चुअली ट्रेड स्टिमुलेट्स इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ ओके विद द अपवर ट्रेंड इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ जॉब्स कैन बी क्रिएटेड एंड दिस कैन बी enhanced by wto through careful policy making and powers of free trade okay then basic principles make life more efficient okay see what is done into this some of the basic principles they are offered by wto okay which usually are essential okay for the individuals who will be entering into international trade okay it builds transparency it increases certainty about trade conditions okay and makes the trade transaction simpler okay which always benefits the companies in the long run okay even uh, providing more job opportunities and better goods and services for the consumers okay then the system encourages good governance okay the wto system encourages good governance the wto rules discourage a range of unwise policies and the commitment made to the liberalize a sector of trade becomes difficult to reverse this rules reduce opportunities for corruption actually okay so these are some positive impacts now let's see the negative impact of wto first one is free trade benefits developed countries more than developing countries okay it is always argued that okay developing countries need some trade protection to be able to develop new industries this is important to be to able the diversify the economy okay it is known as infant industry agreement argument actually okay many developed economies 
use a degree of tariff protection in their development phase okay wto trade rules are like pulling away the ladder they use themselves to climb up okay see uh, what happens usually the developed countries as they are having the good resources good technology and all those things okay they do rule on the developing countries or their products okay or their um, trade okay or the products they are having a superior quality or uh, they do dominate and somewhere it is argued that wto supports it okay sub so wto as uh, policies they are supporting developed countries and somewhat it affects developing country or there is imbalance into the policy of wto okay see then it is most favored nation principle okay most favored nation principle what is this see this is a core tenant of wto rules country should trade without discrimination it means a local firm is not allowed to favor local contractors it is argued this gives an unfair advantage to the multinational companies and can have cost for the local firms and right of developing economies to favor their own emerging industries okay see um, there should be no description description in uh the trade practices okay there should not be differences in trade practices actually okay means for example okay if you are having a tie up with another country okay if you are establishing inter international trade yes surely you should hire a international firm itself is it or if you are uh, giving contract to the local contractors and all okay it will be quite discriminating right okay so what it means okay the multinational companies they do get unfair advantage through this okay and the cost the cost which the local businessmen or local firms they are supposed to face it is quite high okay it will be quite um, uh, it proves to be a disadvantage to the local firms because they are not allowed to um, contact with the local contractors or they don't easily get um, raw materials from this local contractors due to this okay their trade is affected badly okay so then it is failure to reduce tariff on agriculture see free trade is not equally sought across different industries okay this hurts the farmers in developing economies who face tariff protection okay see uh, what is tariff actually tariff means some of the prices or rates or charges okay see whenever it comes to free trade across the different industries yes okay uh, the agriculture okay see many of the resources they are generated through agriculture right okay now even though the resources or the raw materials they are generated to agriculture still okay agriculture is they don't have any protection through this okay they get badly affected due, due to this okay uh, mostly the farmers or agriculturist from developing countries they are badly affected okay then diversification what is diversification all about okay developing countries who specialize in primary products okay need to diversify into other sectors also 
okay to diversify they may need some tariff protection at least in the short term many of the existing industrialist nation used tariff protection when they were developing therefore wto has been criticized for being unfair and ignoring the needs of the developing country okay see uh, usually the developing countries they do focus on agriculture sector okay if the developing country want okay uh, uh, want to switch over okay what is, they should be doing yes they should switch over to other sectors also for example industry and all okay and at the initial stage whenever they are switching over to uh, another sector okay they need to have certain protection from wto but yes it is not there still it is not there okay so usually it will be unfair for the developing countries okay then environment free trade has often ignored environmental considerations example free trade has enabled imports to be made from countries with the least environmental protection many criticize the wto's philosophy that the most important economic objective is the maximization of gdp in an era of global warming and potential environmental disaster increasing gdp may be the least important arguably the wto should do more to promote environmental consideration okay see when it comes to environment okay environmental considerations they are usually um, ignored okay so uh, wto it should look after the environmental protection also okay because in the era of global warming and potential environmental disasters is it that gdp is harming okay so there should be some of the policies to promote environmental consideration okay but it is not there then free trade ignores cultural and social factors okay arguably a reasonable argument for restricting free trade is that it enable countries to maintain cultural diversity some criticize the wto for enabling the domination of multinational companies which reduce cultural diversity and tend to swamp local industries and firms okay see some of the cultural and uh, social factors of uh, the countries they are ignored okay okay the cultural diversity uh, is reduced by the multinational companies okay which harms the local industries and firms actually is it okay because uh, based on the culture itself some of the local industries they were trading they were conducting their business but multinational companies what they have done okay they have um, reduced such type of cultural diversity okay which has widely affected the local industries and firms okay then wto is criticized for being undemocratic okay it is argued that its structure enables the richer countries to win what they desire and the other countries they are ignored so okay uh, see what is democratic democratic is is of by is it is of and by okay whenever we think about is of by okay it is democratic means okay the um, for example why wto is operating yes it is operating for having smoothness soundness into the international trade okay so member countries okay the wto should always listen should be of their the member countries should work through this developing countries and should always be considering this develop uh, this member countries okay but many of the time it is noted that it uh, the richer countries they are more preferred and the uh, poorer countries or the developing countries they are not that much considered okay so what you should be doing okay what uh, wto should do actually it should be democratic but okay uh, it is undemocratic this is one of the critics related to wto then slow progress the trade rounds have been 
स्लो एंड डिफिकल्ट टू रीच एन एग्रीमेंट ओके द ट्रेड प्रैक्टिस विच आर एडॉप्टेड दे आर नॉट फेमस दे आर स्लो एंड दे आर डिफिकल्ट ओके and due to this what happens there will be disagreement uh, between the nations actually okay means the principles the policies okay the procedures which are laid down by the wto okay it might be quite conflicting it might be quite slow okay it might be slowly communicated to the uh, member countries which might badly affect the international trade okay so some of the rules laid down by wto they might be affecting the international trade as well as it might result into unsoundness between the relations between the countries member countries okay so okay uh, in today's lecture we have gone through the ne negative impact of wto okay so what is wto wto is an association which is formed to have soundness into international trade okay with this we conclude today's lecture thank you